Local police chiefs are speaking out about potential reforms in the wake of the death of George Floyd. News Channel 3's Jake Gracia is live tonight reporting from home with more on the impact chiefs say the protests are having on them and their officers. Jake. John, good evening. After a week of protests across the valley, at least three of our local police chiefs say they're listening. I asked each of them what they think needs to change in their department. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. It's the movement sweeping the Coachella Valley and the country. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Protesters demanding racial justice city by city, day by day. Palm Desert, La Quinta, Rancho Mirage, Cathedral City, Indio, Desert Hot Springs, and Palm Springs, all in the last seven days. George Floyd! And at least three Valley police chiefs say they're on the protesters' side. We, we hear their message. We understand it. Last Thursday, Cathedral City Police Chief George Crum and four officers stood in solidarity with demonstrators. We, as, as law enforcement leaders, need to be open to that, to that dialogue and, and affecting that type of change as well. At a highly attended protest over the weekend at Ruth Hardy Park, Palm Springs Police Chief Brian Reyes said he feels the community's frustration and he's listening. There's always room for improvement. Don't operate the way you've always done and, and believe that that's always been successful. Review your policies, your procedures, see what else you can do as far as adjustments to make things better. He says his staff has already been assigned to review policies on use of force, implicit bias training, and de-escalation. The Desert Hot Springs police chief declined to be interviewed, but his department just banned this carotid restraint, sometimes called a chokehold, like the one used by New York police officers on Eric Garner, who died while in police custody in 2014. Indio chief Mike Washburn showed his support to protesters last week. He says policy is just a piece of police reform. We need to focus on all of it, which is the trust building is the number one thing, and, and that's what we're here for. And tomorrow night, the Desert Hot Springs Police Chief is hosting a community police forum at the Word of Life Fellowship Center, that event beginning at 6. I'm live at home tonight, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.